Uh, thank you, everybody, for having me here. So I would like to start with my personal story. I was a nine-year-old boy, and I was walking through the warehouse of my dad's trading company. He was importing goods from South America, like hammocks or glasses. One day, I found this corner where he put all the returns that he received from his customers. I asked my dad, what are you going to do with them? And he said, well, it's trash. It's not new anymore. I can't use it. The glasses have scratches. The hammocks has a different color. There is no market for it. And I said, well, I think I can sell it. And he said, well, then do it. So a week later, on the next weekend, I was standing at the flu market uh, with a friend. Um, I'm the little boy on the left. And I, I did this for about eight years. So I was this flea market boy in our, in our area in Frankfurt in Germany, and I really loved it. And I loved it because people saw value in these products. I tried to give the products a new life. And this was the starting point for my career as an entrepreneur. In 1999, about 2000 and, uh, until 2003, the whole flea market changed because eBay was coming to Germany. And then I didn't have to stand on a Sunday morning at 6 o'clock in the rain and try to sell my stuff. So I was comfortable sitting at home, and I could really sell all day long. And this really changed my selling perspective. I was a power seller for a few years until the 12th grade. In the 12th grade, I found a company it was the Trader Game Corporation. I found it with a friend, and we wanted to have a different approach within the pre-owned segment. We bought all the games from our friends, and we sold them to other friends. And at this time, we had the vision to be the biggest retailer of pre-owned games in Germany. It took us about four years to do that, so we turned into a million-dollar business, and we were very happy. But we thought there's a bigger market for our idea. In 2009, we got influenced by Al Gore. Um, he brought out the documentary about climate change and inconvenient truth. And he spoke about that we can't consume all the resources that we have. We have to change the way we live. And that really influenced our mind that we have a great idea. We save resources because we take a product and we give it to other people and they send it back to us and we resell it again. So that's brought us to our business model, how it is right now, rebuy. So the business model is very easy. So we buy from customer stock. So it could be media and mainly electronics. Then we clean the product. We make them nice, so we repair them, we put them in a nice package, and then we sell them with a very nice margin. So it's a value-added creation model. The USP, the value proposition for the seller is he receives his money very easy, very quick. So it's a one-click model when people want to sell their stuff. It's not an auction model. It's not a hassle. So if you want to sell your book collection at eBay, you have to type in the product that you have. You have to send it to the post office for every product because nobody is buying your book collection. So we make this part very easy for the customer who wants to sell. On the other hand, we sell the products after we made them nice to other people. And with our 18-month warranty on electronics, people buy with no risk. If you buy something on eBay, there's always a risk because there are people who are not professional and it can happen that you buy a mobile phone and it breaks down after a few weeks. So we make that very risk-free. So with a product portfolio of about 12 categories, mainly in the segment of electronics like smartwatches, cameras, tablets, mobile phones, we have a margin which is five, five times higher than for new products. 
We have a strong growth. We're growing about 40% in comparison to last year. And we are profitable in Q4 now. So we are the biggest online shop in Europe for pre-owned goods. The business model um, is, for us, it's just in Germany. So all the revenues are in Germany. But there is a big expansion planned for us for the next years. We're starting in France in about four weeks. And we will add more countries within the next 12 months. The second thing about expansion is that we're going to add more categories. In our mindset, there's nothing that we can't do in the pre-owned world. Maybe cars, because Auto Eins is doing good jobs. So we can do fashion, we can do sports equipment, we can do electronics like Nest, we can do GoPros, we can do Sonos, we can do everything. So at one point of time in the future, we will do everything pre-owned. This expansion is necessary for us, but it's, it doesn't make only sense from a business perspective. So I want to come back to Al Gore and the climate change. Until 2030, this is a new study, it came out last week, 8 billion tons of natural resources, there will be a net deficit of 8 billion tons of resources until 2030. So the study says we can grow until the end of our life because natural resources will go down and we don't have enough natural resources. So that's not a problem for, for me, it's a problem for everybody in this room, for everybody in the world. So what's the solution? Stop consuming? I don't think so. So people always want the coolest stuff. They always want the new stuff. So what's the solution to that? Our solution is, this is now a warehouse, and we, we increase the product life cycle within a circular economy. Sometimes products, we sell them, they come back, we sell them, they come back, we sell them, they come back. And this really helps the economy that not everything has to produce new. So with Rebuy, people can buy products they desire and save resources at the same time. This is our inner core. So my message to you is we give products a new life. Thank you.